Hello and welcome to today's Bitrix 24 webinar, Self-Hosted Advantages. Thank you for joining today. Okay, so who are we? We are Bitrix 24 Gold Partners Interface. We're based in the UK, in the US, and we're also in Hong Kong. And we offer a full range of services to help you with Bitrix 24, starting off with pre-sale support, so we can provide you with demonstrations and discuss your requirements in more detail to help you understand if Bitrix 24 is a good fit for your organization. If it is, we can then implement the software for you and we can implement any specific features or customizations that you require. For the self-hosted edition that we're going to be focusing on today, we do offer our own hosting services and we can provide you with training and ongoing dedicated support. Okay, so first of all, in the webinar today, we're going to be focusing on the self-hosted system, but it's important to understand actually what Bitrix24 is. So Bitrix24 is a collaboration suite with sales, project modules, HR features, and all of these combined to help you in managing your business. There are over 9 million customers now that use Bitrix24 to help manage their businesses around the world. And the system is available in two different editions. So we have the Bitrix24 Cloud and we have the Bitrix24 self-hosted system. And today we'll be going through really the advantages of a self-hosted system. There are additional features that you don't have access to on the Bitrix24 Cloud product. In terms of pricing, so for a Bitrix24 cloud system, prices start from $49 per month. And for a self-hosted solution, this is available starting off at the Business 50 edition for $2,990. Okay, so first of all then, what we will go through is, before going on to look at the features, we want to just clarify the different types of the self-hosted system that are available for you. So the self-hosted system is available in two different editions. So first of all, we have the business edition, and this is the most popular and suitable solution for most businesses. So first of all, this ranges from the, the start business edition is for a 50 user package, so if you've got up to a team of 50 users, this would be a suitable package for you. And that goes up all the way to 500 users on the Business 500 edition. It comes with all of the Bitrix24 features and it includes some additional features that you don't have access to on the Bitrix24 cloud system, such as an extranet site, which can be customized with your branding. There is also a help desk module and an e-learning tool so you can build your own exams and courses for your users to conduct. The other type of self-hosted system available on Bitrix24 is the Bitrix24 Enterprise Edition. And the Enterprise Edition is our most advanced product and it allows a company to establish an unlimited number of intranets, which can all be managed by one single global administrator. So, for example, a good company idea for using an enterprise system is maybe if you operate in multiple countries and you need to personalize the internet with branding, your own language for each individual site, then you could use the enterprise edition to customize that for your each local office, but still manage the actual settings on one global control panel. And as we go through the webinar today, please do put any questions that you have into the chat box and we can run through those for you during the intervals in today's webinar. 
Okay, so moving on to look at some of the self-hosted advantages and the benefits of using the system. So one of the main benefits of a self-hosted solution compared to the Bitrix 24 Cloud is the level of customization that you have access to. So what we can do, first of all, is allow for a full customization of the platform. So we are able to rebrand a self-hosted system. So you can customize this. So if you maybe have specially designed logos, you can add those to your login page and remove the Bitrix24 branding. So we can make this and build it out as your own corporate branded software here. So it can be customized with your corporate branding. We also have access to the control panel. And the control panel is the area for your administrators. So first of all, we will be going to look at the control panel later on in the webinar today. You do not want your, your general users to be accessing the control panel. So we can set permissions so only your administrators have access to this area. And, and this is where in the control panel you can configure modules in very advanced ways. So you can really customize the, the feel, the look of the system in the control panel. So if you're currently using a Bitrix 24 cloud system, then you should be really impressed with some of the additional functionality that you have access to in the control panel. You also have access to the source code, and that's a, a real critical benefit really of the self-hosted system. So having access to that source code means if the customization maybe you're looking for, if it can't be configured through the control panel, then we can look to use the actual source code to build the customization that you require. So it could be you're on the cloud edition right now and you're wanting some level of customization. It well may mean that you need to move to a self-hosted system because we have access to the source code, we can then build that customization. And one thing to point out, if you are kind of questioning whether to move from a Bitrix 24 cloud to a self-hosted system, we can migrate you. So all of the data and information that you have stored on your cloud system, we can migrate all of that across to a self-hosted system. So you don't lose any information. We have a lot of clients who we managed migrations for to a self-hosted system. And in terms of kind of your, your front end users in their day-to-day -day use, they won't notice any difference until we start building any customizations or integrations. They'll be able to continue to use a Bitrix system. Another benefit of the self-hosted system is the additional ability to integrate with other platforms. So we have access to the full API on the self-hosted system. So it means we can integrate with thousands of other web applications. And maybe you want to integrate with the finance systems such as SAP or Oracle, for example. We can integrate with those different platforms using the API. And finally, the self-hosted system has a number of extra features that are not found on the cloud system, such as the help desk, e-learning feature, and robust analytics within the control panel. So we'll have a look at some of those features in more detail shortly. Okay, so moving on now to look at some of those benefits actually in a bit more detail. So here we can start looking at some of the level of customization you can do with your self-hosted system. So one of the main reasons for choosing a self-hosted option, it is the ability that, as we mentioned through the source code and the API to customize the look and the feel of your Bitrix24 system. And the site can be customized to match your corporate look and the functionality can also be configured to make the system really a lot more intuitive and more streamlined to your specific processes. So first of all, we we're able to style up the system. So many areas can be rebranded and we can have the look of look at this in some more detail shortly when we look at a branded login page. We also have the ability to edit. So you can edit any page and administrators can create custom pages using the page editor wizard. In terms of navigation, so the left-hand menu, to improve the user experience and save time really on nav navigating different modules, 
the links in the navigation menu are fully editable and it is actually possible to display different navigation menus for different sets of users so you may say for your management team you have access to some of those reporting modules such as the crm analytics module whereas other users just your standard users you might want to remove that from their menu so you you have that level of customization in your system it's also possible to build dashboards so if you wanted to maybe create a custom dashboard to display different sets of data and information Maybe a very good example we styled for some of our clients is a sales dashboard. So we can pull specific pieces of information from the CRM system and create a dashboard in a brand new module for you. We also have the customer portals. So although this is available on both the cloud and self-hosted, one of the benefits of the self-hosted and a big statement really is the ability to customize the login portal where your customers can log in to an extra site so with the self-hosted you get the flexibility to create custom login pages so it can have that corporate feel for your clients which can be very very important and finally all modules are customizable and it is possible to create your own bespoke modules to perform specific tasks for your business Okay, so let's actually now have a look at some of the types of customizations we can do in the self-hosted system. So we've just logged into our Bitrix 24 system. One thing we've mentioned already in the webinar quite a few times is the control panel. So this is one of the first differences you would see if you're going from a cloud system to a self-hosted system. So I can open up the control area here. And we can see in here the different features that we have access to to start customizing our Bitrix system. So on the right hand side, I can turn on the edit mode. And that will then allow me to start editing different areas of our Bitrix 24 system. So, for example, I could come over to our menu section, for example, and I could start customizing the menu items that we have in our system. So inside here, for example, I might want to start customizing the actual look and feel of the menu. I might want to change some of the links inside here. I could also maybe start creating my own pages. So you have the this level of customization that you simply don't have access to on the cloud edition. So before we do any more work on here, I'll just turn off the edit mode. And within here, then we can start creating our own pages. So let's have a look actually at how we can create our own pages in the system. So we, for example, may have a company internet section. So we can start adding pieces of information in here. So what we're going to do actually is start to add a menu item to the top of this module and install some additional pages where we can store information. So to do this, we're going to go directly into the control panel. Okay, so within here, we're then going to go into the content section and we're going to go into our file and folders area. And the page we were looking at there was the about page. So I'm going to go into the about section here. And this is basically the, the back end of where we were just looking at in the Bitrix 24 system. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new page in the system. So first of all, we're going to add a new file into here. So all of the information that we're going to go through today, we can provide training or we can create these pages for you in the system. So please do contact us if you do want additional guidance. So first of all, we're going to create a brand new page. So this opens up the page section. And first of all, I can give this page a title. And what we're going to do for the page is create a policies page. So that's a really common page that we see in our clients, Bitrix 24 systems. They store all of the policy information about their organization in the custom pages. So let's create a policies page. OK, so I'm adding some text into here. You can style this how you like. You can upload images. You can make this 
dynamic content as well. So you can customize the actual look and the style of this. I'm simply adding some words into this polishes page to show you how the feature works. But we can really make this a, a really modern and professional looking page in the system. So I've created a page there and now I need to add a menu item so we can link the page with our menu. So we call the page policies, so let's call the menu item the policies page. And we can then also add the link. So it was in the about section and we're going to call that policies. OK, so that, that's really how simple it is. You create a page and then you link that page to a new menu item. So if we now go into the front end of our Bittrex system, we can now see at the top there, we've got a new menu item called policies. And I can click into that policy section. And we can see the information that we inputted has been added to that page. So you could add you know, several menu items onto here. You could add then specific details and information into here. Now, one of the other benefits of, of doing your own unique pages is we can then also set permissions for who is able to access those policies. So, for example, if I just go back into edit this menu item. If we just go back into the advanced mode. Then what we can do in here for that page that we've just looked at, we could actually set some conditions into here. So we may actually say, for example, that only certain types of groups are able to access this particular page. So we can go into here, we could set permissions for who is able to access this particular area. So we might say for a user group, and we may say it's actually just for the administrators. Or maybe we might say it's for all of our external clients. So we can customize what groups of people are able to access those pages that we create in the system. So you have, really what I'm trying to get across to you here is you have lots of control over who is able to access this information that you are creating in your Bittrex 24 system. Now, even on the front end of our system here, I could actually start to customize this page inside our editor wizard here. So we've got the information, but maybe I want to add some additional detail. So I could actually pull data from inside our system. So maybe I want to take some deal information. So actually I could move our deal information from our CRM system directly into this particular page. So you can see now it's pulled in all of that deal data. And obviously you would need to restyle this, but I just simply want to show you how you can then really start to easily customize pulling data from different sections of your Bittrex 24 system. So let's just delete that for now and save. OK, so there is a look at how we can customize our policy section. Now, as we are showing you here that ability to create new pages, another feature you have access to with the self-hosted system is the ability to customize your extranet portal. So as we mentioned, the, the extranet is available for both the cloud and the self-hosted system. But with the self-hosted system, you have extra layers of customization. So first of all, where your client logs into the system, you can customize with your own branded login page. So we can remove the Bittrex branding. On the left-hand side here, we can customize the menu items. So we have specific features that the external user is able to access. You can also see on the right-hand side, we have some banners. So quick links to certain pieces of information that you could add. You also get your own domain here, so you can customize the domain. And you might want to have external links to easily navigate to external sites. So it just gives you an extra degree of customization that you don't have access to on the cloud system. So you can really build out your external client page to be specific to what you want your clients to have access to. OK, so let's just see if we have any questions right now. Please do add any questions into the question box and we can run through those during each interval. 
Okay, can the colors of the background be customized as well? So yes, absolutely. So if we just go back into our Bittrex system, and what we can see here is we mentioned how the login page and the logo and the domain can be customized. What you can also do is if we go into our theme section, you can first of all customize it with a Bittrex theme. So you can customize this here like so. Or you can also add your own custom theme as well. So if you've got your own corporate branded theme in as a background, you can also customize that and add that into your system as well. So you can customize the background just like you can customize the login page as well. Okay, so we've got no more questions right now, but if you do have any questions, please add them into the question box. Okay, so now we're moving on to look at some of the advanced features available on the Bittrex 24 self-hosted system. So the self-hosted system comes with all of the features of the cloud, plus a lot more, not just customization features we've looked at, but additional modules. So first of all, one of the features you would have access to is the help desk. And the help desk is a tool to allow you to manage customer support requests and inquiries. So customers can log in their inquiries on a portal and then help desk staff can process those tickets according to predefined rules. And we'll have a look at the help desk module in a short moment. We also have the e-learning module. And this is a set of tools which assist in the training of your employees. So courses can be created and staff members can set tests to demonstrate their knowledge in maybe particular subject areas. And it is possible to configure a user's profile page to show complete tests as badges on their profile. So you can start to reward those users. We also have analytics some really robust analytic reporting. So it is essential to understand the success of your Bittrex 24 system. You seeing and analyzing what features and modules are being utilized well, and maybe what's being underutilized and how you can then start to promote those areas to help improve productivity. And so these are just a few of the additional features and we've mentioned as well how you can create your own custom modules. So actually, Although you've got access to additional modules in here, we can actually also create additional bespoke modules specifically for your requirements. Okay, so now let's actually have a look at some of those additional modules in some more detail. So first of all, we've mentioned about being able to access a help desk system. So with the Bittrex 24 help desk, there are several different ways your either internal users or your clients can submit support tickets. So first of all, they could, your customer could log into their extranet site and go to the support area. And once inside here, they can then submit their details and information to submit a support ticket. And this interface where you see the fields of information, this can be customized. So you can configure how this looks, maybe what fields are mandatory in the system as well. The second option is to use what we call the support wizard. So using the support wizard, you actually have several different options and you can start to channel the actual type of request that your client is able to submit. So let's say we select computer problem. We select computer problem, it then opens up two additional fields where we need to input information. But if I go into print a problem, we then have a different selection of pieces of information we need to select from. So first of all, I can add my information and then I have to select from a drop down box. So this is really useful if you want to really get and capture as much detail and information as possible before the ticket can be submitted. And the third option is you could set up our mailbox rule. So within Bittrex 24, what you're able to do is you can set up your own mailboxes directly into your Bittrex 24 system. So if we go into our services, 
um, we can go into the rules section here in the mail area. So what you can do is you can set up a rule. So for example, you could add a, maybe a support at interface mailbox into here. And if a, you, if a client submits an email to that email address, we could then automatically create a brand new help desk ticket in the help desk module. And we can put rules in place on there so only specific people are able to send in those emails to create tickets. And once those tickets have been submitted, they will all come into your help desk module. So here we can see all of those tickets directly in the system. You can create filters as well. So you might want to set different filters for different types of tickets, or if you're waiting maybe on the customer, for example, you could set a filter for that. And you can log into any of those tickets and see all of the dialogue that has taken place on those tickets. You can answer those tickets in here. You can also add your support levels. So you might want to set different SLA levels for how quickly a ticket needs to be responded to. So you have lots of flexibility in being able to set those SLAs for different types of clients maybe that you have in your system. And this is where your support team would then go to manage and deal with those support tickets. Okay, another module we've been discussing is also the ability to create your own courses. So inside here, we've got our e-learning module. So inside here, we can add and create new courses. So I can go to our health and safety course. And this is then a course that our users can conduct and then take a test, for example, at the end of the course. So I can go into here and maybe watch a video or go through some articles and information. And I can then begin my test to make sure I have understood and gained knowledge from the course I have just taken. Okay, so once that test has been completed, we can then view our test results. You can see the number of attempts you have had, and that information can then also be added to your user's profile in the system as well. Okay, so that's a look at some of the additional features that we have available in the Bittrex 24 system. Okay, so question, I want to create a help desk ticket from support at my domain, is this possible? Yes, absolutely. So that's what we've just briefly looked at there is how you can create a rule on a mailbox. So first of all, you would add that mailbox into your Bittrex 24 system. And you would then set up a role. So you were then able to receive those support tickets directly from that email to that mailbox. Okay, and the third really important benefit of a self-hosted solution is the ability to integrate. So for example, you could build forms on a public facing website, and you could then bring that information into Bittrex. So for example, if you have an inquiries form, that could automatically post information maybe into the activity stream, as an example. We also have the emails. So we've mentioned how we can maybe generate a, a help desk ticket from an email, but we could also set up additional features, maybe generate work groups or tasks as well. And we have access to the full API. So if you wanted to integrate Bittrex with other web services, ones we've worked with before include MailChimp, e-commerce packages, Oracle, SAP, finance solutions, so we can integrate Bittrex 24 with your other pieces of software as well. Okay, so looking at then hosting options, you have a choice to either host a self-hosted system in-house or you could use a partner's hosting services. For self-hosting, if you want to host this yourself, we provide a virtual appliance, which is a free application that it allows Bittrex to be running a pre-configured and fully secured virtual environment. So this saves you time on product installation and maintenance, and it also improves overall system performance as well. 
Alternatively, if you want to, Bitrix can be hosted by a partner such as ourselves, so we can provide you with our hosting services. And this is really what we class as a dedicated cloud solution. So some of the benefits of partnering with, with Interface for your hosting is we will manage the server performance. So that would all be managed by ourselves. So you don't need to be concerned about the server setup and the performance of your server. And the system is optimized for complete speed and endurance. We'll also make sure the system is securely and backed up for you based on your backup requirements. And also, most importantly, the project can be scaled then very quickly without investing in further hardware. So we can apply more storage to your system. We can add more spec to the server if required. So essentially, as ourselves here as a partner, we can provide you with the, our hosting services and that saves you time and provides you with peace of mind. And you, in terms of cost, you'd be looking around 2000 to, depending on the spec, up to $2,500 for 100 gig per year of a hosting service. And just as we were briefly talking about pricing there, we just want to discuss some of the other pricing uh, areas that you want to be looking at if you are looking at a self-hosted system. So the Business 50 edition is the smallest level self-hosted license we start off with, and that is available for $2,990. And for the renewal in year two and ongoing annually to continue receiving maintenance and updates, you would pay approximately 25% of the license fee. So there you're looking at $747.50. If you're looking for partner hosting, that's around $2,250. And then you need to take into consideration for your budget, some additional features. So maybe you want to customize the system or integrate it with other systems. You'll need to take in mind that there will be a cost involved for that level of work. And it's also really important to be trained robustly on using this system. I hope you've seen looking at some of the different areas where we can edit and going into the control panel. It is a very, it can be a very complex system and any small tweaks can make big changes to the overall Bitrix 24 software. So it's critical that you are trained on using the system correctly and you have ongoing dedicated support that we can provide you with here from Interface. So in summary, we've seen how with the self-hosted system, we can customize the system to our specific requirements and we can rebrand this with our corporate branding. We've looked at how we can integrate the system with different platforms. So you can really make this as streamlined to your processes as you require. And we've also mentioned about some of the additional features such as the help desk module and the e-learning module that you are able to take advantage of with a self-hosted system. And as we did mention earlier on in the webinar, if you are questioning whether you would look to move from a cloud to a self-hosted system, we can migrate you. So all of the data and information that you have on your Bitrix 24 cloud system, you would not lose that data. We can migrate that to a self-hosted system for you and you can then start to take advantage of the additional benefits of the self-hosted system that we have gone through today. Okay, so here are a selection of the up and coming webinars. So the next webinar next Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern time is perfect project management. So I hope you're able to join us for that. If you do have any questions in the meantime, if you've got any more questions about the self-hosted system, please do email sales at interface.com and we'll be happy to set up a meeting with you to discuss your requirements in more detail. Thank you for your time today. Bye for now and I hope to see you next week.